Hello my YouTube friend, this is Non Mechanic here and today I'm working on a 1997 Hyundai Accent and what I'm doing is I'm going to clean the throttle body here and I'm going to be removing it so like I'm going to be removing it I'm also going to be playing replacing the gasket and this is the gasket right here this is the um the part number in case you need it and what you're going to need also for this is you're going to need throttle body cleaner you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket you're also going to need an 8 millimeters you're going to need a pair of pliers you're going to need a screwdriver you're also going to need a ratchet so the first thing i am going to do i'm going to start removing all the sensors so it's four sensors one two right there three and four the first one i'm going to remove is this one right here and it's very easy to remove this one all you have to do is just pull it and it comes out now the next one i'm going to be taking out is going to be this sensor here now if you notice here it has a, a clip you can remove it with your hands if you can all you have to do is just pull it but if you can't pull it like i can right now all you need is a flathead screwdriver now when you do it just be careful because it might fall on you so i'm just going to try to just see if i can just do one and i pulled it there hopefully all I did was pull it, and now I'm just going to remove it. This is the clip right there. And all you got to do now is just pull it back, and that one is out. Also, this one also has a clip in the bottom. You see the metal there? It's right in the bottom, and you're going to do the same thing to this one, and you're going to do the same thing to this one here. If you notice, it also has a clip right there, so I'm going to remove those two that I left and I'll be right back now that I've removed those clips from there all I have to do is just pull these sensors out like this this wire harness all you do is just pull it and goes one and then you just take the other one you also pull it now the next thing I'm gonna do is remove this duct right here your car might have um, clamps but mine's, I changed them. So in this situation, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket. And that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using a socket. And I'm gonna remove just this one. It looks like I only gotta remove this one, this one, and this one over here. Let's see, let's give it a try. You don't have to remove it all the way, just make sure it gets nice and loose. Okay. So now, all we have to do is just pull from here. And there goes one, it came out of there. And this one also, you have to do just pull it. Okay. As a matter of fact, you don't have to remove that right there because all you have, to, all you can do is put it in the side. So disregard this one. That one you can screw it back on. I'll put it back. So now here we go. Man, that throttle body looks good, man. Well, I'm still going to clean it in the other side because it looks clean in there. But it may not look clean in the back. So what is next here? Okay, you have this cable here. Let's see if I can give you some light here. So we have the cable, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so now with the cable, with this cable here, you have to be very careful. 
You see right here? Now it has to go back. And there's a gap right in there. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. You push it back, but be careful with your hands. And then, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with one hand. May need a flathead screwdriver and just push it out. There it goes. So this is it right here. This goes in the gap that's here and the string goes right in the bottom, right in there, and you just gotta do it, just pull it out. So now that we got that removed, what else do we have here to remove? Okay, in the bottom you have a few holes there, I think that's the cooling hose and it has those clamps. So I'm going to remove this clamp out of here and then there's two more in the bottom and I'm going to see give you the best way to remove them. See them right there? You have one and two to remove. You know what? To make it much easier for me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the throttle body. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the four bolts here. One, the four nuts. One, two, three, and four. And then when I push it this way, I can remove those two cooling holes there. But for now, I'm going to remove the one in this side. Remove that one. Okay, I pulled that. So now I'm gonna remove those. For the first, for the two on the top, I'm gonna use the impact gun just to get it out quick. Goes one, two. I don't think I could use the impact gun in the bottom. Yes. Nope, I can't use the impact gun. So I'm going to use a long extension with my 12 millimeter socket to remove the two on the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish removing all of them, all four of them, and I'll be right back. Once you have removed all four nuts, just remember it comes with a washer and the nut. Now it should be able to pull it and it should come out easy. And there it goes. And you can see how oh, this the gasket's pretty good. So now we, I, I wasn't able to get through the holes from the from the side, so I remove it. So what we're gonna do is just remove those clamps, and I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. See, all you're doing is just press them, bring them down. If you got some channel, um, channel locks, just lock them in there because it's going to start leaking. Can't find mines.
press them. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So now we're gonna be eight, try to see if we can pull them up. If you cannot pull them up, take the same pair of pliers and just start moving. Should be able to pull it now. And there it goes. It's out. Just leaked a little bit. So here we go. And look at how clean it looks there. But look how dirty it is right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean it, get a brush. So let's get on with it. In the throttle body, you see how dirty it is in the inside. Right in here was it's nice and clean, but over here is dirty. So we're just gonna spray it as much as we can. Use a brush. You can see how dirty it is in there. little dirty in there so get in there too watch your fingers you can open it with this right here go open it and just just be careful with your fingers look at how dirty it is look when I picked it up Nice and clean. So now the gasket is nice and stuck in there. So you can use something. You don't want to dis You don't want to mess up the um the metal piece. So there it goes. Just put a screwdriver in there, and you can just start removing it. See that? You see how it is, right? It has this little lump over here, so I think because the other one's different. All you want to do is just clean this up too, also. And the good thing is that this thing is pretty good. For 1997, this car is pretty good. I want nothing to fall in there, so. Nice and clean, I ain't gotta scrape, scrape nothing out. So we're gonna take the new one. This one has this thing here, so, but it's still the right size. So we're just gonna put it right in there. It's right in there, perfect fit. So now, We gotta take a throttle and we gotta put, don't forget, these two holes, the two holes that are there, that are down there, they have to go in here. So, once you push it all the way in, put that in there. Let me put one of these just to hold it. Put one of the washers.
put one of the washers and nut in there to hold it. Right? Now you got that in there. Put the other one in. You don't want to tie them, you don't want to screw them in too tight yet. You got that in. Don't forget that this one goes under. This hole goes under and it goes right in here. Right in the intake. So now you can push them all the way in. Okay, now that you have both of them in, you gotta make sure that you put that clamp right in there. Okay, so now that I have that there, make sure that you put that clamp in there, that you've raised it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna place it right up there, the screws on the throttle body you have to be careful on the bottom that you don't lose them so I'll put my hand like this I'll put the washer in first then I'll put the nut right in now that you have put all four nuts one two three four you don't want to go too hard you all you want to do is with your 12 millimeter socket and just go Tie it just a little bit. You want to do it to all four of them. Right there. So now you got all four of them done. The next thing we're going to do, like we are here right now, what we're going to do is put the cable back in. And remember what I said, we're going to push it back. We're going to put the shoulder side right in, right in there. Right in there. So it made it a little difficult because you gotta put the string right through the gap and it pushes right in there. So we almost there, we got this, we got that. So all we have to do now, make sure that when you connect the hoses, you connect them in the right spot. Now all you have to do is just take the duct and put it right in there. Let's put this side in first, because this is the one that you can squeeze in. So push that one in. Push that right in, and then push this back. Then once you put that one in, you can push it back. Just work it in there. Here it goes. Make sure you put it in there. You put it in there. Make sure everything is locked in there. And all you're gonna do is screw them back in. Take this one. You don't want to go too hard because it's plastic. Then you have the other one right in there. Make sure they're all covered. And now all we have to start doing is put in the sensors. So I'm going to put this one in first. And all you have to do is just look in there and screw it, push it right in. There you go. So this one. Next one we can start putting is this one. Just push it in. Don't forget the clip right in the middle. Right in. Push it in. Now we have this one and the clip is right in the bottom. Push it in. Put the clamps, the clips right in and push it up, there it goes. Then we have this one here, on his end, 
Take the clip. Push it back in there. You want these clips in there because it's not. While you're driving, the sensors may come off. So there it goes. Okay. So now those are all in there. Everything is right in. Make sure everything is connected. Look around. And that's about it. This is how you clean and change the gasket on a 1997 Hyundai Accent. So once again, this is Now Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Or contact me on Now Mechanic 101 at Yahoo.com. That is Now Mechanic 101 at Yahoo.com. And remember, if Now Mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.